morning everybody hope you are all well i'm here today to make some jewelry to actually make something rather than just showing you things i'm buying so very easy jewelry tutorial today ladies i am a beginner i do not profess to be any kind of expert jewelry maker at all um haven't been doing it long but just thought i'd share with you what i've learned along the way so um yeah nothing to oh what's the word i'm looking for nothing too overpowering to make very easy jewelry that anybody could make okay so today three pairs of earrings all different styles and um i will go through each pair of earrings as i go along to tell you where the beads or findings came from etc etc um if you want to follow along you need your basic jewelry tools um some round nose pliers some cutters chain nose or flat nose whatever two pairs because they're easy for opening jump rings okay so that's just your basics so i've got my um ruler out just um in case i'm not sure of any of the sizes of the beads so shall we get on let's do this now first of all we are going to make a nice pair of dangly dangly earrings i do like a dangle we are using these um wires from they're actually from beadalon but i bought them from jesse james beads uk um and there's 12 pieces in the pack and as you can see i've gone through a pack already um so obviously you'll need two of those two earring wires two jump rings which are um, about six mil i think i'd say that was five six mil doesn't really matter and then you're going to need some of these rings i've got two sizes and as i said nice and easy dangly earrings so all i've done to make this set is joined those two different size rings together and joined them to the ear wire with that jump ring so as you can see um it's quite a big jump ring but i like that size if you want to make it smaller if you want to make it bigger you can so the choice is yours and again you can make these as long if you want really long dangly ones that go down to your collarbone and that you could just add more rings so it is completely up to you ladies okay these i got from amazon uh, they're about 16 mil and they are closed rings and they've got some texture on them let's see if we can get that in focus um yeah so that's those 16 mil closed rings jump rings whatever you want to call them some people call the big ones jump rings as well, but I just, just call them rings. And then we've got these smaller ones. Oh, look at that one. That one's obviously come open at some stage, but I'm not sure we can still use that. So these are, um, what you call it? They've got a, um, oh God, I haven't got any words today. It's Monday and I can't even speak my own language, sorry um texture is what i'm looking for they're both textured but they're different textures on each ring but they're really really lovely i really like them and all i did is i used um three of the smaller ones which what did i say was about six mil okay and then is that six ignore me that's bigger than six mil that is about 12 mil and this one is 
uh, just under 20, so about 18. But any any different, you know, size hoops, that's all they need to be, just slightly different sizes. So whatever you can find. So three of those and one, two, three of the big ones. Two, three. And if I remember this time, I will add the links to my last video that I forgot to add. Um, I will be making kits up for these as well, but I'm still working on my um, Etsy shop. But, you know, if you want, want a kit, send me a message. Leave a comment below. Anyway, I'm on Facebook. I'm on uh, Beast Bits and Kits at Facebook. I've got my own profile over on Facebook. So, um, yeah, just send me a message. So, again, these are really, really simple earrings. We're going to take our first one, which is one of our small ones, and you're going to have to look hard, but there is an opening there. Okay. You can use your pliers if you want to, but I don't want to mark them. So, uh, so I'm actually going to add two rings to that first small one. And if your rings are a bit bent up, that's even bendier. That's better. So add two to your first loop, smaller loop, and then close that loop up. Okay, see? Sorry, am I on camera? I'm actually doing this on camera. Let's move over a bit. Move you around. So there I've added my first two big loops to the smaller loop. So we're going to open another one. You can just about see where it opens. Again, two loops and close it up again. Can you hear that crunching noise? That means it's closed. One, two, three. Um, and then I put a smaller one on the top again. So just find that, find your little jump ring, put that on too. And then again, close that little loop up, crunch that into place. And all you need to do, these ear wires are so easy. These are a bit sticky, these are new as well. This is the first time I've used them. So you just open that up. Add your jump ring onto there and then close it back up again. Okay, and make sure that ball just sits on that back wire and then it'll stop that coming out. And there you've got a lovely pair of dangly dangly earrings. You could wear them Christmas. You could weave some beads in between them. Anything. Put a dangle on the bottom. I love them. I love them. I might even add another row. We'll see when I've got them on. But yeah, very simple, but very pretty hoopy earrings. And come on, ladies, we all like a dangle, don't we? So that's it. That's the very first pair. Nice and simple. I will leave them out so I remember to give you the link for the bits and pieces. Let's put that broken, or not broken, but open one away. Okay, so now the second pair of earrings are a little pair of dangle, crystally type earrings. I thought it'd be nice for, you know, Christmas parties, that sort of thing. So, um, again, minimal supplies, very easy to make dangly crystal earrings. How pretty. And we've got some silver space. Oh, get in frame, Andy. We've got some silver spacer beads at the bottom. This, these are all on a head pin. So we've got silver spacer bead. Then we've got this like grey, is it mermaid they call it? Mermaidy colour. Um, rondelle. Crystal rondelle. And then I've got another uh, spacer bead with a flat rondelle disc bead clear with a um, 
a Rondell Spacer Bead, a Crystal Teardrop and then just a Coney Bead Cap all on a head pin and the head pin is attached straight onto the ear wire like that very sparkly so pretty and again very easy to make ladies if i can do it you can do it so you want a head pin you can get head pins from and the head pins if you don't know the difference between a head pin and an eye pin a head pin is flat on the top whereas the eye pin has the loop okay can you see that flat so that's a head pin and all we're going to do is feed these beads on the same as this one so let's move them to over there so we're going to start with our little um these are beadle on i'm sure i got these yeah beadle on you get a pack of five in five different sizes okay um i'm not sure what size i'm using here Ooh. about three or four mil i'd say they were okay so yeah pack of five and they do gold as well i've got gold ones and i'm sure they do africanas um i've also got a these crystals i'm using these came from coleman's craft warehouse they were well they have they've closed down now um where i just get all my craft supplies and some beads mainly crystals not a lot else you can get there but but yeah these are in the sale i think i got these for 50p so probably six inch strand there but they're beautiful so i'm using those and the um the teardrop crystals came from riverside beads and they're on facebook as well and got a website so yeah, they came from Riverside Beads. The Wandells, I'm sure I got from uh, Amazon again. So I'll try and find them in my stash and give you the link to them. So, okay, that's it. So we're going to put on our spacer bead first. If I can find the hole. Once again, I haven't got my spectacles on. Then we're going to put our mermaidy coloured crystal Rondell, then the other spacer bead. Okay. I can't see if that's in focus or not. Okay. Uh, then we're going to put our flat crystal on, and then we're going to put our Rondell, crystal Rondell. Then we're going to put our teardrop on. Okay. And then we're going to put our bead cap on top. And that is it. Okay. Very, very simple to make. So all I'm going to do. Did I wire up that? No, I didn't. Just so that I remember. Is I'm going to make a loop. So bend it over a nice size loop, bend that back, put it back on and just keep turning until you've got your loop and your loop is completely closed, okay? So let's just look at me, make sure, yeah, see, they're pretty much the same size. I'm happy with that. And again, all you do is open up your earring wire, thread it on, close it back up. And there you've got a nice pair of dangly, sparkly party earrings. How lovely are they? Okay, see again, very, very easy to make. You can add any colours you want in there. But I just thought, yeah, nice, like crystally, ice droppy earrings for Christmas. 
So that's those. Another pair of very easy, easy earrings. So my last pair for today is in honour of the people of Ukraine for what they are going through at the moment. So I've got this, I haven't finished these ones actually. I've got these little angels, again from eBay. Okay, so you can, you know, you can put a little bead in there as well if you wanted to. So you can thread beads in there or you can just leave it and just use it as an angel. Whatever you want to use, but I'm just doing it in these colours and I'm going to sell them. I'm going to make a few and I'm going to sell them and uh, donate them to some kind of Ukraine fund to help people that are not going to have a good Christmas this year. So anyway, let's not get political, but this is my idea. And what I use here, I've got these two bead mixes, again, from Amazon. Um, so I took the blue one out of here, the tealy bluey colour, uh, which I thought quite, it's, um, it's slightly gold on one side, and then it's really blue on the other side. And then obviously the um, yellow so the blue one came from this collection which is from Amazon and the yellow one came from this collection which is also from Amazon so again I will remember to find the links so all I did I haven't put my earring wire on that one so all I did was um, did I put a bead on the bottom? no so again just another head pin And I'm going to put my oh, I'm going to put my blue bead on first. I hope I've got that the white way around. Doesn't matter if I haven't. I'll change it. And then the yellow on top. Oh no! <laughs> Ignore that. I'm going to put my head pin through my angel bead um, bead cap. I was oh that didn't stop. I must have put a bead on. How come that stops and that one doesn't? That one might have a bigger hole. No, that's not going to work. Let's get a different one. Maybe that's why I didn't. No, that's not going to work either. So I, I am actually going to put... It's a good job I didn't finish that one then. So I am going to put the bead caps on the end of those. And I might as well use... No, they're too big. Let's try the smaller ones. Wherever they may be. Come on, there they come. That's it. Yeah, they're a bit big, so we won't use those. We use these smaller ones, which are oh, tiny. So you don't want to be dropping them everywhere. <laughs> like I just did. So we want one for that side and one for that side. Okay. Put the lid on. Wouldn't be the first accident with beads everywhere. Believe me, ladies. Right. Okay, so let's start that again. We are going to put our tiny, tiny little spacer bead on. Now, I know I always make things in silver, ladies, but I seem to have, um, you know, when you like buy, buy everything. So my main colour was silver. I just um, started collecting all gold bits. So I'm going through the, the different metals. Okay, so I've got my tiny little, I hope that is big enough. To stop that going all the way through yes okay so um, we're going to put the blue bead on first then we're going to put the yellow bead on and then you need to bring it down I hope I'm in frame sorry if I'm not let's bring that down without dropping your beads and line it up so that the head pin goes through the middle and straight out the top 
like that. Okay. And then we are going to make a loop. We're going to cut some of that off because it's got far too much. Ow. Without cutting my thumb. And then I am going to make my loop. About there, I think. I'm sorry if my wrists are a bit awkward, but I've got arthritis and I have to keep moving them weirdly. Is that closed? Yeah. Okay, can you see that? My loop is all nicely closed. So I'm going to do the same with that other one. I'm going to put it, oh, I'm going to put my little bead space or a space bead on oh do you know what every time i do this i forget my spectacle on this put that on that on the blue one the yellow one and then let them fall and slowly bring that point down without dropping your boy boys without dropping your beads you might have to wiggle it a bit, especially if it's a bit bent, like mine. Help it in there. Oh, so it's not gone through. Come on, get in. straighten that out a bit again it's not going to go in that one oh no 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 I'm telling it why does it want to go in Ladies, it's always one, isn't there? Okay, blue and yellow. Maybe my bead's bigger than the last one. Hmm. Maybe if that's it. I'll make sure you're um, your pin is straight, ladies. It will make your life so much easier. There, yeah, done. Oh. <laughs> okay, we are done. So again, I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to cut some of that off because it's too much. And then I'm going to make my loop. Oh, my wrist, sorry. Let's just bend that back a bit. And if you need to straighten them up, like that. There we are. Now you can either hang them directly on, which I think I will do, or you can use some jump rings. It's completely up to you, ladies. So again, just opening that, popping on my little angel. That's one. Open, pop on my angel, close it up, and there's your third pair of earrings.
that ball touching the back and then it won't come undone. Let's check that one. Yep, that one's okay. So there's your third pair of earrings, ladies. Oh, see. So again, very easy to use. Lovely pair of earrings. Again, you can use any colour beads, but these are my Ukraine earrings, so I'm uh, planning on making more and selling them and donating to whatever fund I can find for them. Help the kids and that, the families. Terrible. Right, okay, that's it. What have I done there? Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Trying to pull it out my earring. Don't want to do that. So let's get all our three pairs of earrings out, clean this mess up, put that in the bin before I lose it. Hello, Charlie Puskin. So there you have two pairs. Where's the other ones? I love these. Of pretty dangly earrings. Okay, I think that one's bent in the middle there. I need to sort that out. So very, very, as I said, very easy to make. Let's see if I can get it down a little bit more. Come up. Very easy to make, ladies. And different. So different from each other I mean <laughs> so thank you for joining me um I will be back I've got I, I want to make a memory wire bracelet so um and my bits and pieces have come for that now I've got another couple of hauls as well that I've done see that's why I had to make the earrings before I had to show you more beads <laughs> and uh bits and pieces anyway so so thank you very much for joining me. Have a lovely Monday and I will see you again maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Take care. Bye bye.